Rocket Lamb. This is the ultimate dinner party showstopper. It's glamorous, it hits the table, it's got that wow factor. We're gonna season it, sear it, and then put this beautiful basil crust on it. Enhance the flavor, let it rest, and slice. Well, happy Easter. Today's a special day, I'm gonna be cooking some lamb. What makes this lamb even better is I have a new skillet for my friend in Dallas who uh, finds these at garage sales and then re-finishes them. And this one's a lodge, an old one. It's probably from the, I don't know, 50s maybe, 40s, who knows. But she gave this to me and I put it in my suitcase and I'm gonna cook some lamb in it tonight. The Chef Ramsay way. But I have a whole recipe ahead of me and I'm gonna show you how it works. And what's even cooler is this fits in my little teeny oven because I have a little teeny kitchen here in Chicago. So I can't really, you know, I, I can use this. This is awesome. Now I'm gonna make the uh, panko crust. This is what Chef Ramsay says to do. Now I've already measured out the ingredients. It says, um, first you put a little bit of panko in here. That's a cup. And then he says, don't chop it up. There's more basil than there is parsley. So quarter cup of basil and then like a half, half a cup of basil and a quarter cup of the parsley. They said two teaspoons of salt, tablespoons, but I thought that was probably a lot. So I'm not gonna put that much in there. I can always do without salt. I can always put a little bit more. And then of course, half a cup of Parmesan. And then I get to use my cool Vitamix, the dry one. I've got the right tool, I think. I think that's probably good enough. Taste it. Mmm. Tasty. Look at this. A little story about this meat here. This is the lamb. What makes this lamb so wonderful is the guy, the butcher, chopped off the things. He goes, you want me to chop the bones off? He goes, it'll probably take like a quarter pound or half a pound it took three quarters of a pound so in this case it was about 15 bucks so this is where the the chop would go so that's how I'm going to cook this before I do this but this is from a place out um, it's called local foods they get happy sheep happy animals before they kill them so then the meat, you can tell, it's just really wonderful. I'm gonna cook this up now with my little skillet here. Big one. It's so difficult to, um, to do this. To film and to cook at the same time. That's a good piece of lamb. That was a happy lamby. Put a little oil in there, like Chef Ramsay style. And then I'm gonna salt the lamb with a little salt and pepper, just like Chef Ramsay does. Cooking and filming at the same time is not easy. So basically you just do the sliced seasoning first because you're gonna season it twice, according to Chef Ramsay. I like the way he does it. He does it with a British accent. I'm so excited to use my new skillet. It's an old skillet. He says the deal is in searing. That's the secret. The secret to lamb is not cooking it too much and searing it just perfectly. Okay, I got a nice sear on there. Alright. And then we said throw in the thyme. Because it's fragrant. And then, of course, oops, I forgot the garlic in here. I said, just smash the garlic. I do it. Okay. Filming and cooking at the same time is not the easiest thing to do. But I'm doing it to see if I can do it. So I just lightly chop that up. All right, second rule. 
I mean, he's pretty, I don't know, he threw chunks of butter. I'm throwing in, in a lot of butter. What's in the skillet? Thank you, Mel. And then we're on that time. It's the father. It's got the good smell. Is it not as fragrant? Let me put the pan on the side like this. And I saw him do this in the video. He stuck this on top of it. The thing I was worried about was this oven wasn't going to fit this 8 inch skillet. Guess what? It does. Boom. So I'm going to put it in there for 4 minutes. It says 6, but I'm going to. Chef Ramsey says 4. Excuse me, sir, but do you have any gray poop on? The 80s. I heard Adam Kirk telling a story about it once where he had a Rolls Royce um, when he was the. MTV DJ, DJ, and uh, he had a Rolls Royce, and he kept Grey Poupon <laughs> in it because he knew people would come up and say, "You have any Grey Poupon?" <laughs> I thought that was funny. Anyway, part of this recipe is to take Grey Poupon and put it on the lamb, and this is uh, as Chef Ramsay says, gives it the heat. I'm telling you, filming. Cooking at the same time is not easy. It's better to have a crew when you do this kind of stuff. I'm gonna take some gray poop on. The gray poop on. I'm gonna just stick it just a little bit in there. He says it just kind of heats it up. I'm not gonna put as much on my sons here. Just a teeny bit. He says it kind of like melts in. You know, they always make it look easier on these classes that you watch online. You know. But it gives you the encouragement. It gives you the, the gumption to go ahead and do that. Cr crust. Ah! Not so good. I wanted to reset that because I don't want to waste any of this stuff because you can use it on other things like chicken and fish. So I'm just hooking this up all the way around. Okay, now I discovered a little trick here. This seems to be getting it on there. I just took a little spoon and it seems to, you know, work a little bit better. So, alright. That gets a little messy. But they say put a little tin foil in the pan. So it keeps it from burning because there's no fat in any of this. So now I'm going to shove this thing back in the oven. A little higher heat. 375 for like, I think he said six minutes. I've cooked the couscous. Cous. Can't have lamb without this. Hmm. Chef Ramsay didn't do that. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to let these sit. He says if you cut into these things before their time, you've lost the, the thing of lamb. So I'm going to like say, hey Siri, well, you know, let's do three minutes. I usually tell Siri, I look a thing like this. Hey Siri, set a countdown clock for three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Very stoked about my pan, my skillet, my redone skillet, thanks to Mel. Ballas. I got a new skillet, so I'm gonna let that sit there. Couscous is all done. All they have to do is plate 
Now, in his recipe, he took like yogurt and lemon and turnips and you know, just you know, you chef Ramsey did. I'm just going a little bit chillier on this because um, I want to eat. I'm hungry. I got good lamb. That's the most important thing. Not some lamb that was, you know, tortured. I got some good lamb. I love it when Chef Ramsey does this. He's like, he's got mad knife skills. So I'm going to get my son's first here. I've let it sit. By the way, I'm shooting this on a 28 millimeter Sony lens. I need bigger lens or something. So let's see how this looks. This is like a lamp shot without the bone. Oh yeah. That works. Oh yeah. All right, let's get another piece going here. Oh, it's not like Pretty as Chef Ramsay, but you get the gist. I like it. Anyway, the end. <laughs>